Hi there, I've been uh, receiving a few emails asking me questions about the processor I'm using to drive my 12x12 ping pong ball array. A few years ago I would have used the Arduino Uno. Uh, it's a great little board, but it's only an 8-bit processor running at 16 megahertz, and it's only got 32k of flash and 2k of RAM. Now you can do an amazing amount with that. But when you start getting into more computation intensive uh, effects for this sort of thing, then it starts to run out of steam a bit. Uh, the next, uh, the other thing is the size. This is quite big when you think of the board, trying to stick it behind the board. Uh, I've used the Arduino Nano on a lot of projects, uh, but this is essentially the same as the Uno. Uh, it's the same 8-bit processor running at 16 megahertz with 32K of flash and uh, only 2k by kilobytes of RAM. Uh, there is also, I found, something called the uh, Arduino Nano Every, and that runs at 20 megahertz, and it's got uh, 6k of RAM, and I think 48k of uh, flash. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I could see myself using that. But more recently, I've uh, started using this, the Seed Unio, uh, XIAO and as you can see this little beauty it's half the size of the Nano um, it's got uh, so it runs at 48 megahertz uh, it's got 256 kilobytes of flash uh, and it's got 32 kilobytes of SRAM and it's only $4.90 which is unbelievably priced uh, it's got a 5 volt power in 3.5 uh, 3.3 volts out in the ground and then it's got 11 general purpose IO pins all of those IO pins can be used as uh, digital inputs outputs or analog inputs uh, one of them can be used as a true analog output with a, a digital to analog, analog converter inside the chip um, and also if you look at the pin diagram for this little rascal um, Two of the pins, D4 and 5, can be used to implement I2C. Uh, D6 and D7 can be used to implement a UART. And D8, 9 and 10 can be used to implement an SPI interface. So all in all, this is an incredibly powerful chip. And again, $4.90. You know, you can put them in absolutely everything. Uh, so basically, this is currently my new best friend when it comes to building this sort of project. At the minute, I'm using just one pin to drive all of these NeoPixels. In the fullness of time, I'm going to be using this joystick, which has got uh, two analog outputs, so that'll be two more pins. Um, it means I've still got eight pins left to control switches and do other things with. So if you've got projects that aren't pin intensive, and certainly when you're using NeoPixels, you can control 144 pixels with one pin. Uh, that helps an awful lot then this is something you really ought to be looking at. One slight gotcha, uh, the connector here is USB-C, which eventually everything will be. Uh, but at the minute, if you're only used to USB-A and B and so on, you will need to get a USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, but apart from that, absolutely awesome.